Hello, my name is Bram Stolp and I made a gadget. This is the gadget I want to show off. Um, it's a USB device, two displays and six knobs. And these knobs are very high precision, so I can... Uh, um, every little click, 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 click is uh, one, uh, a change of one, or I can push and click for a change of ten. So, um, yeah, um, let me reset some values here. So, uh, what are we tuning here? Well, let me show you. Um, this is actually a noise field and it, there is a surface going through the field. Now, if I change the ISO value here, you can see it come up um, so yeah so here we have um, the surface through the volume and everything on the surface has uh, the, the field is a certain value the called the ISO value and below the surface it has a higher value and above the surface it has a lower value so by tuning the ISO value, we can include more of the volume or less of the volume underneath the surface. Uh, with the offset parameter, we can um, basically browse or scroll through this um, field. So we can look at different uh, regions of the field. And we can change the freq frequency of the field. So we can make it a very low frequency like now, or we can make it a very high frequency like this. So um, currently we only see um, one type of fre frequency um, in the volume. Uh, this is because uh, there are actually there are actually four octaves of uh, noise in this field. But I've got the persistence parameter tuned to minus 100%, which means that all the higher frequencies uh, do not persist. So um, let me sl slowly add them back. So now we see the higher frequencies um, uh, also uh, present in the field so there is a it is the the low uh, frequency um, main octave and this is adding the errors in now I can also change uh, the deltas between the octaves so by standard um, this is called a lacunarity and the default is uh, for lacunarity uh, setting uh, zero. We do um, a doubling of the frequency for every next octave. And we can increase the gaps by increasing the lacunarity. So now there is a bigger difference between the high frequency octaves and uh, the low frequency ones. So let me tune them out a little. So this is the main one. And there are a few high frequency ones on top of that. Now, this field as it is now, we can browse through it, but it's a bit boring. Now it comes be uh, it's because of, uh, it's a height field. So um, when we go from uh, the bottom to the top, it basically goes from high to low field values. And that also means that there is never uh, any overhang, no caves, no tunnels, uh, which makes for quite a boring uh, field, uh, quite a boring terrain. Um, and 
there's a method to uh, make this more interesting and it's called domain warping and by uh, increasing domain warping like so we get overhangs in our field and tunnels and caves and again I can um, include more uh, under the field or under the surface or less which basically gives you some sort of like eroding effect and let's find some uh, some arches there's an arch here see this is a lot more interesting you see uh, an opening in the terrain here kind of like a tunnel and with the ISO value we can close it down like so now it's closed or by going the opposite way we can open it up erode away the terrain until we've got a thin sliver left here or if we want go even further so yeah this domain warping is a very nice um, method of getting these interesting shapes um, and uh, let me show you how this domain warping works uh, let's um, put it back to zero and let me change Uh, the mapping here so basically domain war warping what it does is um, the sample space is warped so before you sample the space you warp the position of the samples and um, this is nicely illustrated this way so if I um, increase the warp more and more and more and more warp we see for instance that uh, some parts of this sample space get stretched out and other parts of the sample space get squished and so um, this gives us the interesting overhangs, caves, um, tunnels, things like that and of course we can keep playing with frequencies, make it lower frequency Have better persistence so let's go back to the old mapping so yeah this is the geometry and um, yeah, it's a very nice tactile way of exploring this parameter space because um, this noise is now defined over six parameters and of course you can uh, do this with a GUI um, with some sliders, a mouse, keyboard, what have you but it's not less of a hands-on tactile experience if you do it that way and this is uh, yeah, a neat little way to explore this space there's a neat little arch now let's see we can So yeah, we can uh, close it up or erode it away. Let's see here the 
two sides of the arch are barely touching and now it's solid so yeah I, uh, I hope this video was interesting this gadget was made with an Arduino microprocessor and it is a whole lot of fun programming these little machines and uh, yeah I got something useful out of it uh, thank you for watching the video and until next time